Yo, what it do again? Welcome back to the channel. As always, you better be having a good day. Shit. To my new people, welcome to the family. To my regular ones, you guys know what we're about to get into. Go get your snacks. Go get your soda. Make sure you have a bev, bro. So you don't choke on your chips. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so with that being said, for you guys today, I have this new combo line that I, I haven't seen anybody else do it. Um, and uh, basically, it just people been going to this thing first before going into Sprite Elf. And I think that this is a mistake. Also, I added a Nimble Manta for an extra Nimble Monster that we need or whatever not. Because of the way we, I'm going to show you. You could get a bunch of value out of this thing. And that's why I'm running Foolish Burials as well. Because you could, you, this thing is not once per turn, bro. <laughs> like, it's crazy. This is, you could do this twice in one turn. So with that being said, I'm going to show you some shenanigans. I hope you guys enjoy the content. If you do, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you learn something, bro, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. With that being said, enough talking. Let's get into the sauciness, man. Let's cook it up. All right, gang. Here we are for the first um, video push. Oh, first combo of the video so this combo basically relies on just having a nimble beaver and any other uh, level 2 monster that you can special summon right so you're gonna normal summon the beaver activate beaver's effect you're going to get yourself don't get another beaver you could get one of these two um it's all up to you i usually like to go for the nimble angler and now you're gonna special summon your red just you know for protection purposes but it's also a part of your combo then you're going to go into the gigantic sprite. What? Yeah, bro. We're doing things differently over here. <laughs> you're going to activate that boy's effect. It doesn't matter which one you detach from it, but we're going to detach the, the nimbler. And you're going to special summon yourself a swap frog. You're going to activate your swap frog. Send another swap frog to the graveyard. That's what she likes to be. Or it. I don't know why I called it a she. It don't matter. Um... <laughs> Then you're going to go into your Sprite Elf. What? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you. We're doing things differently over here. Put that boy right there. Activate that effect. You're going to get yourself a frog. It likes to bounce from the graveyard to the field. That's what it does, right? I like to leave this space open. That's why I don't mess up my combo. So you should do that too. Then right here, we're going to activate this thing's effect one more time. You're going to send this Rototoden. You can activate the Rototoden's effect. You can banish the Swap Frog and Special Summon the Rona Totem. Now with both of these monsters, you go into the sprint. You're gonna start sprinting, bro. What? Yep. I'm telling you, this, this we're just doing things differently. Also, make sure that you put him here in the middle. Don't put him over here. He has to be calling for his effect to go off. So put him right there. Um, where we at? Activate his effect. Now you're going to send a Nimble Angler to the graveyard. Activate that boy's effect. You will bring two of these. And this is why I added this thing into the into the deck. Because now you have extra resources. You have way more resources and more recovery. Because next turn, if I draw into this and I need it, you know, if I didn't have this, all of my all of my nimble beavers will be in the graveyard. But now, if I can normal summon that next turn, I get to special summon one from the graveyard. So you have more recovery, more value. So with both of these monsters, you're gonna special summon them, right? Bow. Now with both of these, you're gonna get yourself a Melfi. Make sure you put Melfi over here. Don't put it over there, because then you're going to have to use her as link material. Don't do that, brothers. You're going to be sad. <laughs> then we're going to activate her effect. It doesn't really matter which one you detach. I'm going to attach this one. Um, and you're going to get yourself a Melfi Caddy, right? From here on out, what you'll do is activate your Rodent Totem. Banishing your other Swap Frog. Then you're going to Special Summon that boy. And with both of these monsters, you get your IP Mascarenita, right? You're going to put it right there. That's why you needed that space open so you don't use your other <laughs> materials. So set her down right there. And that's all you wrote, bro. That's all you got. This is your board. Now, um, usually I'm going to show you how you end up with the board in a different way as well. But this is what you're working with, right? You're going to go into the end phase. You're going to special summon this thing. Wow. Now, I'm going to tell you what you're looking at and the way, the reason why I play it like this. 
Now again, I'm gonna show you about two different variations of the combo that basically lead to a similar board but you're gonna end up with your trap that you need right so right here for example they activate something i'm gonna activate this thing's effect just to show you what you're working with um you could activate your elf where uh yeah bring your rare back onto the field right um here i don't activate ip mascarena yet i know usually when people use this thing's effect they activate IP Mascarena. I'm not gonna do that to show you why, right? So bring this thing back, activate this thing's effect, bring this to your hand. I suggest when you're playing this deck, also play with the toggle on because I would have been able to just activate that. So for example, now that a card got returned to the hand or a, no or a monster with special summon while this was on the field, you could activate its effect, right? So you're gonna activate that thing's effect. You're gonna detach a material from your Melfi Forest. And you're gonna bounce a card back you could do this at any point in time in the game you know but i'm doing it down to show you the effects that you have also you have the negate of this thing right here because you brought a card back into the hand right so you can negate something and now after i use sprint that's when i usually like to use ip mascarena i'm gonna show you why and again you could activate this thing's effect as well right So you're gonna set that boy down, activate its effect, and you're gonna go into your Hero of the Arc Light, right? Using both of these to Synchro Summon. Get it out here. Now everything sent to the graveyard is gonna, well every monster sent to the graveyard is gonna get banished instead. And it's also a negate for everything, Omni Negate. So then with both of these monsters, now with your Sprint and your IP Mascarena, you can go into your um, Evermax. And the reason why I do it like this is because I like to keep Elf on the field. And now if your opponent can't pop elf, they can't attack over it either because this thing is on the field. So again, you get to bounce the card back. Computer don't even want to do more things. But <laughs> essentially, that's what I wanted to show you, right? And then, let me turn the toggle off. And now you have recursion. You still have your sprite uh, elf. So you, you're just saving resources, bro. You're doing a bunch of stuff. You could go into your attack position. You could activate this thing's effect. You know, go crazy, start whatever combo you want to start off again. So this is why this board is better, in my opinion, than going into sprint first. Now let me show you the different. It's, it's basically the same combo, but you're going to end up with your trap. And then there's another crazy, crazy combo that I'm going to show you. So let's get into those. All right, gang. So here we are for the second um, combo guide portion. <laughs> Alright, so basically this is when you have two monsters and a price starter, right? You're going to normal summon this. Then you're going to activate, well, a monster and a monster you can special summon, right? You're going to special summon this one. Then with both of these, you're going to go into Gigantic Sprite. Set that boy down right there. Activate your Gigantic Sprite. And it's basically essentially the same combo, but you're going to end up with some different... Well, Basically, this one ends up with the trap, and the trap is really good. So you're going to activate the Swap Frog, right? Well, Special Summon it. Activate its effect. And since we started with the Ronin Totem in the hand, I'm just going to send another Swap Frog to the graveyard. If not, it, it would have been the same thing. So then, we're going to pretend like I didn't even start off with that, just so you don't get confused, and you know that you could do it with any anything else. So with both of these, this is when you're going to go into your, your Elf. Put Elf right here. Then you're going to activate the elf. You're going to bring the swap frog back onto the field, right? Right there. Activate the swap frog. And this is where you would have sent your Ronin totem. So it would have been kind of the same thing, right? Send your other swap frog. Now you can special summon your swap frog, right? Banish this thing right here. Special summon it. Now with both of these monsters, you go into your sprint. Set down the sprint right there. Remember, always co-link. Why doesn't that thing have an animation, Konami? Activate its effect. And then you're going to send your Nimble Angler to the graveyard. You're going to activate the Nimble Angler. And you're going to special summon two of these, right? Again, this is for leave two of them alone. If you can leave one, just summon one of the Mantas and one of the Beavers. Set them down right here. Now with both of these monsters, you're going to go into um, Melfi of the Forest. Wait, actually, no. Special summon your Ronin Totem. My fault. Just special summon your Ronin Totem. 
Banish one of your swap frogs. Get that boy right there. Now you're gonna go into your Melfi Forest using the Rona Totem and any one of your Nimble Monsters. Set it down right there. Activate that effect. You're gonna get rid of the Rona Totem specifically. When you're doing it like this, you need to get rid of the Rona Totem. And now you get yourself your Melfi Caddy onto the hand, right? You're going to activate your Ronin Totem once again. Banish your other Swap Frog. Special Summon the Totem. And with both of these monsters, you go into your um, IP Mask Renita, right? Right there. Set it down in her own little spot. And now this is where the combo gets loco, right? You're going to activate your Price Starter. And I actually got to show you both things. I was only going to show you how to get the trap and end up with the same board that I showed you la last portion of the video. But with this board, I can show you the crazy board, right? So you're going to activate this thing's effect. You're going to special summon a blue. You're going to pay your taxes. It's fine. Activate blue's effect. You're going to search out your jet. You are going to activate jet's effect. Special summon it. Activate. And then you're gonna get yourself your trap. You could get whatever one you want. I like this thing way better than this thing as of right now. But you could get whatever you want, right? I get my double cross because I'm crossing people, breaking ankles, I'm playing ball now. Now this is what I wanted to show you, right? Now that we have the trap, most of the time or a lot of the times you might not end up with both two dark monsters on the field. So essentially what I wanted to show you was to end up with this board and the trap. But because I ended up with the things that I needed, you could do this right here. Number 65, Dinju Buster, right? Bring that boy out here. Look at this, bro. You, you see what's going on right now? Do you see? End your turn. And I'm going to tell you what you're looking at. You're going to special summon the caddy. Get it right there. And this board is the best, in my opinion. The best sprite board with no lock, no craziness. Just pure, yo, listen, absorption, right? <clears throat> Sorry about that. So um, we have the options to activate all of this. Um, I'm not even going to Ash Blossom it, but look, imagine you're playing a real game right now. Look at what you have in your, in your hand and field, bro. Either way, I'm going to let that rock. They're going to get the Gem Knight Lapis, whatever that is. Computer thinking. Computer going to uh, fusion summon into these things right here. So this is where you can activate a bunch of effects, right? So here I can activate Melfi Caddy. That's what I'm going to do. You can activate your sprint, which is why I like to leave this thing on the field and why he's a part of your combo and a part of your board. Activate that boy's effect. And I can detach. Don't detach any materials from here. Detach it from the Melfi Forest. And now you get to bounce a card back. Huh? Yeah, bro. And on top of that, this is where I like to use IP Mascarena, since I already used its effect, right? And I'm going to Link Summon into Evermax. Look at, look at all the options that you have, though. You can Link Summon into any one of these things, but most of the time I go into Evermax. And this is why I like this board right here, because you're going to use Sprint as a level 2 material and IP Mascarena as a level 2 material. Now the benefits to doing this is the fact that now you still have your Sprite Elf on the field and she can't be battled over because this thing is on the field. They have to pop it, right? So again, you bounce a card back, you bring this thing onto the hand, activate. Let me turn the toggle on because I think with the toggle on you get to activate it right away. Yeah, see, sometimes play with the toggle on because you don't have to wait for your opponents to activate or do anything. You could just special summon this thing. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm also going to activate the Sprite Elf. I'm basically just showing you all of the effects that we could do, right? So um, here, it doesn't really matter because if you would have had a Sprite Red, a Carrot, or a Blue or Jet in the graveyard, then that's what you would have special summoned. But it doesn't matter which one you bring out, right? I'm just going to bring this thing out. So again, put that thing right there. This thing gets to come right here. Activate its effect. And you're going to go into your Hero of the Arc Light. We're going to set that down. I'm hoping that the computer could do more things so I could show you more things. Computer, please. Let me turn the toggle off. Computer, no. 
All right, well, computer don't want to do more things, so I can't show you more things, but I can show you this thing right here, right? So this is why I like this thing. You could activate this thing's effect, and now you could basically grab that monster, even though it's set, <laughs> it's set down, and you can yank it and put it into one of your Xyz monsters. I'm just going to put it back into the Melfi. What are we talking about, brothers? Now, this is we having Maxi and Ash Blossom in the hand. Also, we still had a negate. Any monster sent to the graveyard would have got banished. Um, and then I still had another monster in the gate. Do you see what this board is? <laughs> oh, goodness. It's crazy. <laughs> so I wanted to show it to you because, honestly speaking, going into LV4, going into Sprint, and then sending Sprint so you could, I mean, bringing Sprint onto the field so you could send this, it gives you way more value than bringing Sprint onto the field first. So that's why I wanted to show you this. Um, let me see if I could show you the fact that you could use this twice in one game. I'm going to show you how to do that. Oh, Let's go. Right, guy, here we are for the next portion of the video. Now, this is, I'm actually glad that I got this hand. This is a brick. This is Bob the Builder on a Thursday afternoon, bricking it up. This is Ratchet Ralph having a great time. This is Brick City. You could build a whole facility with this <laughs> hand right here. But, not really, you have Foolish Burial Goods, so I'm going to show you how you could go crazy with just Foolish Burial Goods, right? I'm going to activate this effect. You're going to send the Nimble, where, where that? Right here, you're going to send your Nimble Angler to the graveyard. Now you're going to activate this effect. You're going to you bring both of these onto the field, right? Set them right there. With both of those, you're going to go into your Gigantic Sprite. Set it down right here. You're going to activate its effect. It's the same combo, bro. The same exact combo. I'm just showing you how to get a bunch of value off of just one foolish burial goods. You're going to get the Swap Frog onto the field. Activate the Swap Frog. Then you're going to send another Swap Frog. And we're going to start Elfin. All right? You got to start Elfin right here. Use both of these monsters. Set that boy down right there. Activate this effect again. You're gonna bring the frog out Place the frog right here. Now you're gonna activate frog's effect. You're gonna send the Rona totem Activate Rona totem's effect Banish the swap frog Special summon the toad Two toads you're gonna start sprinting Set down the sprint right here. Remember he has to be co-linked Activate Sprint's effect. You're going to send your other copy of the Angler. <laughs> what? Yo, bro, that thing is not once per turn. Now you're going to bring two of these back onto the field. <laughs> and this is why I play the Mantis. Because the Mantis allows me to save resources. So right now, if I didn't have this Mantis in the, in the deck, I would have only brought out one monster. But because I have the Mantis, I get to bring out two Beavers. So with your two beavers, you're going to go into your Melfi of the Forest. Well, it's it's all up to you because, look, you could activate your Ronin Totem, right? Banish your other Swap Frog and Special Summon it. Now, the problem with that is that you only had two Swap Frogs. Sometimes you're gonna, it's going to be like this. But this is where you're going to start making the board depending on how you want your board to look like. So because you have Sprint on the field and you, if you don't want Sprint to be useless, then you go into Melfi Forest. Now, if you want, if you don't care about Spring being useless, but you want to go into your IP Mask Arena, then that's what you'll do. So those are the options that you have here because you know you don't have another monster. Well, let me see. Did we normal summon? Oh. Well, look, bro. I have a normal summon yet. I do this sometimes too, depending. If you don't care about the maxi, what you could do is normal summon your other level 2 monster or special summon if it's a sprite one. So here, you, what I'm going to do to show you, I'm going to summon the maxi, right? And now we have a, the full, full board. You could go into your Melfi Forest. We're going to use both of these right here. Set the Melfi Forest. Activate its effect. And um, send the Ronin Totem back. It doesn't really matter. Get yourself your caddy. And then with both of these monsters right here, you can make your IP Mask Arena. If you... If you because we started the combo with the, <laughs> which is crazy, the Foolish Barrier Goods, we never normal summon. So if you have another monster that you can normal summon, you could do this. That's why I showed you this. So now you could use both of these and go into your IP Mask Arena. 
And that's all you wrote. That is your board. After, just with one foolish burial goods, bro. What are we talking about? Set down your imprim, whatever traps you have. End your turn. Special summon your caddy. Ridiculous. What are we talking about, bro? And what? Stop summoning this before elf. <laughs> so here you could again. You, you have this thing's effect. You have this thing's effect. Uh, you you could bring whatever uh, you want out. Doesn't really matter. Again, you have this. I didn't activate the sprint. So that's fine. Set that down, right? And every time you use elf. And um, sprint is on the field. It's a quick bounce back. Remember that, cause look, sprint activates, bounce it back. Just get rid of the material for this. Get that thing out of my face. And you can negate if you want. Doesn't matter, cause we're bouncing it back. But I'm just showing you stuff. Again, activate this. Activate your IP mask arena. You have a cross out designated. You have whatever, like you. <laughs> Why, why are you why are you bringing sprint out before elf bro is what I'm asking <laughs> set that down right there and again that's I, I I just wanted to show you brothers that's all I wanted to do because this is crazy look at this look at all of the this this deck is ridiculous it's just and I like playing it better because we don't have a, the dark monsters that we have are blue sprite jet and all that stuff all of our other monsters bestials can banish them to bring them out. It has to be uh, blue or, or jet, right? Speaking of blue. And that's it, bro. I just wanted to show you. Oh, look, you still have your elf on the field. You still have, like, follow-up. You could bring whatever you want from here. You could... Let's go into the deck list. Let's just go into the deck list, bro. All right, so here we have the new soda uh, flavors. Um, it's a 41-card deck list. I've been debating on whether I should keep this in here or not. Because if I take it out, then it will be a 40-card deck. But um, I am running that thing because we don't have any back row removal. Uh, Des uh, Branded Despia, Bestial Despia doesn't like when you destroy all their back row, even though they, they can bring some of their back. But you have to force them to bring it back if you pop it, right? So that's why I'm running it. You could get rid of it if you want to make it a 40 card deck list. It's fine at 41 for me. So again, we run three Swap Frogs. Anytime you open up with two of these in the hand and this thing, you're going crazy. We have three Maxis, one Nimble Manta. It doesn't matter. That is the Manta. It's just got to be another Nimble nimble Monster, level 2 Monster. So, but again, I added it here for what I just showed you with the Foolish Burial Goods, right? Nimble Angler running that too because it's not once per turn. This is ridiculous. Also, craziness. If you open up with this and open up with this, you're having a great time because you can activate this thing's effect, send it to the graveyard, activate this thing's effect, bring two monsters on the field, and you can start popping off, bro. It's ridiculous. Three nimble, nimble beavers, one nimble, uh, I mean nimble, Melfi caddy, um, two sprite blues, three sprite jets, one sprite um, pixies. This is really good because, again, remember the ultimate board that I showed you when you end up with this thing? Sometimes if you can't bring your jet onto the field with the blue, then you bring this thing and it's another dark monster that you could use to go into this thing. That's why I run it in here. Also, it has very good utility. Sometimes if you have to attack over something, it's good. To have this thing in the field, activate its effect and give yourself an attack boost. Really good. Um, Sprite Red to 2. You could switch between 2. I've been thinking about um, putting Sprite Carry to 2 instead of Sprite um, Red. Because a lot of people are usually evenly maxed, including me. So, I don't know. Melfi uh, Penny, again, for your little Melfi package. 3 Ash Blossoms. You need this because um, Branded is rampage right now. Deck is crazy. So, you need the Ash Blossom. Then, um, Foolish Burial Goods, one card combo. Stop talking to me, bro. You just saw me do it. Ridiculous. Run this. Now. ASAP. <laughs> um, two call by the graves because you gotta call people. You got the digits, right? Cross a designated. You're crossing people, taking ankles. Two, um, Sprite Starters because you gotta start your stuff. Sprite Gamma Burst just to get yourself the attack boost to OTK. Sprite Master just in case you need to banish some shenanigans. Evenly matched to two. Because just in case we're going second and we got to break boards. Um, infinite Impermanence to two. I only have two, but I'm okay with running that two anyways. And one Sprite Double Cross. Again, you're taking ankles. You're playing ball now. This thing is cracked up. 
Um, one Herald of the Arc Light, one number 65 Dungeon Buster, again for that crazy turn one board, one Melfi of the Forest, one Omniburon Soul Sweeper, um, two Gigantic Sprites, one Divine Arsenal A.A. Seuss, one IP Mask Arena, one Code Breaker versus Swordman, one um, Elfie, I mean Sprite Elf, well two Sprite Elf, sorry, one Sprite Sprint, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Meg Knight Crusader Evermax, and one Underworld Goddess of the Underworld. I mean, Close World. And um, yeah, bro, that is my deck list. I'm gonna show you replays maybe tomorrow, the day after with the deck. The deck is ridiculous. Especially with the way I'm playing and the way I make my turn one boards. Even when I mess up, I end up with something okay. So with that being said, subscribe if you wanna see that tomorrow. If you like the content, if you learn something new, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Enough talking. I'll catch you guys next time. You better continue having a great day. I'm out. Peace.